Hey guys, and welcome to this video on algorithm analysis. So here I have a problem. It says, assuming that n has been declared and initialized to a positive integer, write a summation equal to the number of times that j minus minus is executed in terms of n and then solve it. So here I have my code and you can see the j minus minus um, statement here. So let's take a look at the code and see what it's doing. So first thing it's doing is declaring three variables, i, j, and k as integers. And then what it has is a for loop. And the for loop runs from i equals one. It's gonna run while i is less than or equal to n. So it's gonna run all the way, it's gonna run n times. And then um, i is gonna increment by one. And then within this loop is another loop that runs from k equals one all the way up to i. And then k is gonna increment by one each time. And then it sets j equal to k. And now within this second loop is a while loop and it runs while j is greater than zero and then j is gonna decrement by one each time. So let's first write this as a summation. So the first loop runs from i equals one to n. And then within that loop is another loop. So we could write another summation here. And that's, that runs from k equals one. So we're gonna put k equals one here all the way up to i. So we're gonna put i here. And then within that loop, we have our while loop. And this is a little bit more trickier, but I have a previous video on this uh, that you can look at. So it runs from j equals one all the way up to k. And now, how many times is this j minus minus statement executed? It's a constant amount of time. So we'll say uh, one here because it's just one statement, it's just j minus minus, so it's a constant. Um, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna solve this. Okay, so this is equal to the summation from i equals one to n of the summation from k equals one to i of k. And I put a link um, in the description below to show you guys these summation formulas that I'm using. Right now I'm using a formula uh, it basically just, we just transform this summation here. So this summation, and it just becomes K. All right. All right. And so again, I'll put it in the description below. So let's see what this equals. This equals the summation from I equals one to N of I times I plus one divided by two. And again, I put the summation formulas in the description below so you can see them. So uh, this summation here just becomes this statement here. All right. Now we're going to do some summation manipulation. So I'm going to bring out the constant one half. So it becomes the summation from i equals one to n. So one half times the summation from i equals one to n of i squared plus i. And now I'm gonna move this a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna split up the um, the summations. So it becomes one half times the summation from i equals one to n of i squared plus the summation from i equals one to n of i. And then this here just becomes one half times um, n times n plus one times two n plus one all over six plus n times n plus one all over two. Okay, um, now let's Simplify this a little bit more. I'm running out of room here. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply out this this n here, so n in the one half. So we get uh, n squared plus n times two n plus one all over 12 plus uh, n squared plus n all over Four. Okay, so what I did was I multiplied that one half um, with the one six and the other one half to get 
12 and the 4 here. All right. And now what I'm going to do is I'm actually I'm going to multiply this by 3 and the denominator uh, by 3. So that way we got one denominator. Okay, so now we get, um, let me see, we get n, oh, we get 2n cubed plus n cubed, I'm sorry, n squared plus 2n squared plus n all over 12 plus 3n squared plus 3n over 12. Okay, let me uh, make some room. All right. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna combine like terms. So we get 2n cubed plus, uh, let's see, we get 1n squared down here, 2n squared, and then 3n squared. So that's 6n squared plus uh, 4n, all divided by 12. Okay, and we can simplify this to n cubed plus um, 3n squared plus 2n all divided by 6 and that's our answer and what this is this is uh, big theta of n cubed and of course that implies that it is big O of n cubed as well All right, so thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave likes, comments, questions. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and be sure to share this to anybody else if you found it helpful. Thanks as always for watching guys and I'll see you all in the next video.